Hey guys, we're here at an undisclosed location where we are going to do something very interesting. And all because Chanel and I realized we can't do this whole TV slash web hosting thing forever, so we should probably look for other jobs that we might be good at as a backup plan. That's right, this is called Guam 9 to 5, where we go find some work at the island's most interesting and difficult jobs. For this segment, Chanel and I are going to become the world's greatest and foremost leading experts in beehive removal and extraction services but not without first learning how to do so from the master himself. Let's go meet Chris. Chris! Chris, why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit where we are and why we're here. Okay, so we're in a residential uh, area in Jigo, and we are going to extract some beehives. The first thing we want to do, of course, is we all want to go in with a nice, calm, uh, subtle, uh, attitude. We, we don't want to go in and rip tin out like crazy. So, oh. uh, so we have to have a positive attitude about evicting these yes, innocent cause, creatures. Because really, the bees can actually detect your uh, your nervousness and your scaredness. So, so you got to be careful. Me. <laughs> <laughs> I can detect your nervousness and scaredness. <laughs> and we're wearing some Hurt Locker style armor. Are we fully protected? Um, not really. Uh, you guys are protected, but in terms of not feeling a sting, uh, you will feel a sting. If... What's the point of these? That's... I'm not looking forward to this now. <laughs> the chances of you guys getting stung is, is fairly low. I, I, will, I will give you that. Fairly. You legally have to say that. <laughs> How many bees are we looking at meeting Probably today? Probably about 50 to 60,000 bees. Holy God. shiz knuckles. There are two hives in this area that we'll be at. They look like deflated Baymax in there. Not yes. ready, but let's do this. First off, I'm going, I'm going to smelt them. I'm going to smelt the hive so, so they won't okay. detect your CO2s because they're going to be smoked. They're going to be very docile when they're smoked. Well, yeah, that's what happens when you smoke. Let's do it. Chanel, cover your CO2s. Shut up. Team, team B hive. Uh, what is this? Team B. B. The B team. Their job is to absorb the stings from us. This is what will make the bees calm. Again, yeah. go to stem leaves. Oh, okay. That's all you need. Hmm. So the, the more we vacuum the bees, the less chances of us getting stung oh. because we're, we're, we're vacuuming all the, all the worker bees, all the ones that, that are experienced enough to actually sting you. Uh, what we're doing right now is Chris and his team, the bee team. Oh wow, look at that. Uh, oh, yeah, there you go. That is a huge beehive. They're having to remove the entire tin from the house to expose the beehive, and he was saying it could either go to the left or to the right, so there could be multiple queens and multiple bees just in one side of a house. Ninja! You got it, you got it, there you go. Look at this. Oh, it's a lot more intimidating when you can hear them. When you are a bee, you are specifically focused on the spacing. The spacing is what will allow them to build combs in these, uh, in these houses. So once they establish uh, a place in these homes, they'll take yeah, three to four weeks to start building. Uh, and it'll be mostly the, the two week old adult workers. The bee population here on Guam uh, basically has little to no effect on the, on the population basically here on Guam. However, there are potential positive effects that they may bring to Guam, such as serving as an economical value to where we can actually export these queen bees to the U.S. and in turn get a monetary value for them. So, the, so in actuality, these bees can actually serve as a, a huge economical value overall. Oh man, it's so good. This is Billy Bob No Thornton. No Thornton. Are you dead? Did I kill him? <laughs> Did you ask? Is he not moving anymore? In the arms of the angel, oh my god, there she is! What? It's a bigger 
Mr. B. It's like black and bigger. Yeah, it has big eyes. There, right? that one. You see it? It's a smack in the middle. Up a little, up a little. No, 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 right there. Right there. Right there. <laughs> right in front of you. Go, okay, go up. Up, 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 up. Oh, the drone cannot sting. It is a male bee. It's uh. only purpose in the hive is to mate. Oh, what a lucky guy. And, then and once they mate. So all those other ones are die. chicks? Oh, all right. Still worth it, though. I mean, the, I felt something the, like, the queen oh, will mate go. with up to 10 drones, and she'll keep about over uh, a million sperm in her spermatheca. That's what they call it. Spermatheca? It's a sperm bag. That sounds yeah. real. <laughs> I have no way to fact check you, Chris. Like, <laughs> You, got, you like honey, right? You guys like honey? Yeah. Mm, not really. Mmm. Oh! You can chew like the wax like it's... Damn. That's so good. Excuse me, B. You make it not look good to eat, but... What are you doing? No! Okay, boom. I'm, I'm trying to identify a fruit. Mmm. Got a hint of leather glove. See, now that is why you should do this job. It's the ending, man. You just get some really good honey. <laughs> I think people need to do this so they can appreciate bees and what they do for us and what they can make. I want toast. It's freaking, freaking <laughs> delicious. That's how you do an extraction. I mean, there's nothing more to it uh, other than making sure that the, the whole hive is gone. So for people who have bees in their homes or property, how do they get a hold of you? Well, they can definitely call the uh, Department of Agriculture. They'll call me or the, the university. I give them a call and go into their home and see how I can extract the hive. There are multiple beekeepers that, that do these extractions. I also want to share the, the amount of extractions to <laughs> To them as well. Again, it, I want to make this a collaborative effort for beekeepers on Guam, not just myself. <laughs>